Okay, so next step in the customization of BRM is defining the role uh, prerequisite, prerequisite types. Okay, so what does this step do? You're basically you're in here, you're defining uh, role prerequisites that are required to be validated before granting access to a user. Okay, so execute this. And you have three prerequisite types already defined in the comp in the system. These are brought in uh, by default by SAP when you activate the uh, the BC set. So one of the BC sets brought this in. Okay, so so what is this? Why do why when do you use this? So you use this activity, uh, this customizing activity to define a role prerequisite pre role uh, prerequisites. To specify that the application validates whether or not a user has completed mandatory requirements before being granted access. Okay, so there are companies that require the users to undergo some training, and you know only after the training the access is given to them. Okay, access to the SAP system. So this is you specify what are the uh, no requisites prerequisites for granting access. So for example, you can specify that the human resources administrator role must be completed as a prerequisite to the human resource training role. Okay. So you can define your own prerequisites if you have, but I, we don't use it much. So let's not. Uh, can create your own entry if you want to, okay? But I'm not doing it. But that's the, basically the purpose of this customizing step, that you define the prerequisites that are required to be validated before granting access to the user. So let's go back. So let's next step is role prerequisites. Okay, so let's see that. 